Hey guys, what is going on? It is Scotty from Bungalow Fields here. And before I start off this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about this gameplay. This was the game uh, directly after the MOBE gameplay from my last commentary. So I was still going for MOBEs. Um, I didn't quite make it this game. Uh, I believe the final score was 31-2, and two, so a 14 and a 17 kill streak. But even though I didn't get a MOBE, it did turn out to be a pretty good gameplay in the end. So this video is going to be half of an update video and half of a story video where I'm going to tell you guys a story about an interesting event that happened to me and I think it's pretty interesting so you guys will enjoy it so to start off the update video I want to talk about some of the content that we're going to be releasing soon per request from you guys we have started a new minecraft series that Alex will be leading uh, it is featuring all of us on the channel and a few extra guests like Brian and uh, Reeds and you guys probably all know them so it's called the great migration and it is just us moving from the old biome to a new biome and we're starting all over no cheats nothing no mods uh, just us playing the game legit uh, we also recently filmed a Assassin's Creed Brotherhood gameplay it's a live com featuring Sam Alex and I and uh, it's kinda funny so you guys will enjoy that and then the Modern Warfare 3 live skit was just update or um, just edited so that will be uploaded soon I believe after this commentary so, yeah, and uh, we just want to one more time thank you guys for sticking with us and all the comments and the feedback. We really appreciate it. We just want to get better at this, and uh, we're just trying our best to give you guys what you want. We just want to make you happy, and that's all that matters. As long as our viewers and subs are happy, then we're happy. So, uh, we, we just want to say, again, thanks. And the only reason we do this is for you guys. It's a lot of fun. And we just want to keep doing this and get better at it. And the videos will start to get better. We just need more practice. And you know what they say, practice makes perfect, but not necessarily perfect. So I'm going to say better. So, yeah, we just want to get better at what we do. And uh, we really appreciate the feedback that you guys give us. To start off the story portion of this commentary, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little background knowledge of the characters in the story. The two main characters of the story are George and Kevin. And you guys probably know Kevin. I think he was featured on the Minecraft, maybe. I'm not quite sure. But he's a really cool guy. Uh, we've been friends for a long time now. And George. George, uh, he was a little guy back then. I believe it was first grade. He was kind of, you know, a small little kid. Not really kind of quiet. So we used to all hang out. And uh, George was used to kind of get picked on a lot. So we hung out with George, made sure that everything was all right, made sure that he wasn't getting picked on as much. So one day at recess, we were all hanging out by the park at our school, and next to the park was a big ditch, or that's what we call it. It was kind of like a valley thing, and uh, its main purpose was like a sewage drain. And the kids weren't allowed to play in there at that time because we were only in first grade and we could have gotten hurt. So what we did was we kind of stood on the outskirts of the ditch, like on the side, and we kind of just hung out and talked there. So one day we were just doing our thing on the side of the ditch. And one of these big bully fifth graders, as we saw him back then, came over and started picking on George. He started roughing him up a little bit, you know, pushing him around. And me and Kevin, we didn't really know what to do because we were just little first graders back then. We didn't want to step in and knock this kid off because we obviously couldn't overpower him. So he just kept on, you know, beating on George a little bit, not really harmfully. But it started to get worse and worse. I don't know why this kid was doing it, just for fun or something. So he started just beating on George, and I felt really bad just standing there. So it started to get more and more physical, and at one point it started to get where he was kind of like pushing up against him, kind of like almost punching him a little bit. So right when it was about to get really bad, uh, he was about to throw almost a punch towards George's stomach. And Kevin jumps in, and he yells, nobody can pick on George but me, and just tackles this big-ass fifth grader down into a ditch. Kevin is only a first grader at that time. He takes on this fifth grader, pushes him down this ditch. They're fighting on the way down, all the way down this large hill, and they're just punching each other, wailing on each other down the hill until they get to the bottom where there's just, like, a small scuffle for, like, a minute, and then it's just over. Just the teachers come over. And this kid gets in trouble, and Kevin doesn't, nothing happens to Kevin. He's fine. But this fifth grader, he almost got beaten by this first grader. And it was just an amazing thing to witness how Kevin just 
stood up for George, and it was amazing. So we called Kevin Hero for about the next three months, and uh, I'm not the best storyteller, as you guys can probably tell, but I just thought you guys might want to hear something besides, you know, just us talking about the gameplay. So uh, to wrap up this video, I hope you guys enjoyed the story, and I hope you guys will enjoy the content that's going to be, re be released soon. But to wrap up this video, I'd like to give a shout-out to one of our subs, and uh, his name is Precision Gaming, so I encourage you guys to go check him out. He's got some great Call of Duty commentaries. He's starting a Battlefield 3 series. He's got some great Skyrim. So I encourage you guys to go check out Precision's stuff. He's, he's a really good commentator. He's got some subs, so if you like what he's got, uh, give him a like, drop him some comments, give him some support, and... Uh, you know, sub him if you really like what he's got. So, thanks guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy uh, the next couple weeks that we have planned for you guys on releasing commentaries and uh, content. And uh, like, comment, rate, sub if you really like what we have here. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Alright guys, so in case you missed it, on the left is my mob commentary where I talk about why I hadn't been putting out many videos lately and a few things that I noticed about Modern Warfare 3. On the right is Alex's commentary about where he sees our channel down the road and our schedule in detail. And in the middle is the link to Precision Gaming's channel. I encourage you guys to go check it out.